Malibu Bay films, and it's called Hard Ticket to Hawaii. It's that kind of like guacamole films and avocado cannibal bitches in the jungle. This movie better have tits in it, because it just screams boobies, and if it doesn't, then I don't understand the point. So let's, let's keep our uh, boobies crossed. Hey, Alamona Yacht Club. All right. You should get in, Rowdy. The water is great. Are you kidding? Yeah, wasted no time here. Yeah, that guy's a great actor. He's got himself a boat and a bitch. Malibu Express. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, shit. They're done already. Wait a minute. Cut out the good parts. That's bullshit. That reminds me of Mike's wife. Looks like Donna. We don't have to go back to Molokai. I can request you for my staff in Honolulu. The agency wants me on Molokai. The agency? What the hell kind of agency do they work for? There's no job for a girl like you. Right. Stay here and play you, Tarzan, me, Chang. She's a fantastic actor, too. Yeah? Yeah, we'll try this. All right. I can see why she was hired. Her skills set. <laughs> but hey, he's a, hey, you rascal! You just took my towel off. I wonder what that means. Why don't we just uh, kiss passionately and uh, do some light petting? Yeah, that's probably it for the the boobies. See, that's one thing I never understood about these movies is they weren't they weren't you know pornographic enough to be you know dirty movies and they weren't good enough action to be good action movies. We don't need that. Put them away. But Henry, why don't we need the gun? Oh, yeah. Well, like, that isn't foreshadowing something. Hey, Bobby, we don't need that gun. Oh, why don't we need the gun? Ah, uh, because I'm an idiot. This land belongs to the IU family. They've been growing weed Granddaddy on the island for three generations. Smooth criminal. He's down with down the down uh, juice crew. Big Daddy Kane. Then I hit him with a small fine. Off I go. But they still grow the stuff, though. Oh yeah, he said that he comes up and warns these people about once a year because they're growing weed. For his trouble, he gets a nice little small package of some ganja. You're going to be number one stoner, so you got to know what I do and where I get my weed. It's from these guys, don't they look like a good bunch of people? Look at that white guy in front of the truck. Damn. I thought this is a small family operation, huh? Hey, shit, this, this ain't no uh, fucking family. This look like a family. This is not one of the machine guns. This is uh, a hard ticket to Hawaii, man. This ain't no hula, hula hoop contest. Oh, shit. Boy, these guys look like they can really handle some shit. Look at that, that's my that dude in the middle is dope, man. He's my favorite so far. Yeah, fuck you. Shoot you dumb guys right in the chest. <laughs> yeah. My nose hairs. Oh shit. Hard ticket to Hawaii. Andy Sedaris film. What is that? Amy Sedaris' brother? She was in uh, Strangers with Candy. Hey, that chick's name is Donna. Donna Spear. They, they got like porno names too, but it's not a porno. That's what I'm saying. It's not porno enough to be a porno. It's not action enough to be a good action. So it's just like full-blown crap. Oh, God. I can tell this is going to be like a real fancy uh, intro segment here. This is probably longer than the whole movie. I got a real clever idea. Hey, I think I'll uh, do the opening credits as uh, uh, packages and boxes in a warehouse. I have everyone's name on it. Cynthia Remhunk job. Come on, you guys. This is, this is a, uh, Rip Torn here. He's a, he's a floor manager. Yeah, Patrick Duffy and oh, Duffix. Brie Larson. Be some, some good bitches in this, hopefully. Like I said, better really pay off with lots of boobies, because I mean that's really all it's got to offer. I bet you the guy who wrote and directed this some bitch uh, pitched it like, "Hey, it's part 
Hawaii Five-O, Magnum P.I., and part Charlie's Angels. A little bit of A-Team thrown in there. When really it's just boobies mixed with shit. Oh, a special appearance by Kamehame Walai, right? He's one of my favorite. Oh, and Joseph Joju. Yeah, good cameo appearances. All right, enough of the goddamn credits. Produced by his sister. Like I was saying, the strangers with candy, bitch. And written and directed by good old Andy Sedaris himself. Wrote brilliant lines like that guy said, feed those two fucking natives to the fishes. Okay, whatever. Meanwhile, I'm paradise. Yeah, this agency that these girls work for, they just like hire these chicks to come down to the island and run around half naked in bikinis and drive around in jeeps. Yeah, there's Donna. She really does kind of look and act like my ex-wife. Nice shades. And I mean that too, the quality. Look real nice. Look like a real class act. Sure. Oh, she's. It's rough running around half naked and bouncing all the time. Seven first and eight can't afford to get soft. I'm supposed to be soft. I'm a woman. Exactly. If it wasn't for this arrangement, you'd be a dead woman. At least when I testify against the mom in Vegas, they threaten to kill me quickly. You're taking your time. Look, Terrence, you didn't make such a bad deal with our witness protection program. Well, at least I'm in the island. Yep. <laughs> Half naked in the island is just exactly where the witness protection program wants you to be and how they want you to handle things. See, what they do, they hire these bitches for this uh, drug agency or whatever, and they just, like, stand around with their legs up on the on the dashboard, and they got their short shorts on, she got her flashlight hanging there between her legs and her Swiss Army knife. sounded like paradise, but you never let up. The agency expects us to be fit at all times. Well, that's Sounds nice. But I'm still just... Mean you can't yeah, let's high five on that. All right, high five it up. 87 in the house. Uh, she called her Donna too, uh, so she she went with the real name, and uh, that was uh, that was my ex uh, wife's name, Donna too. So it'll be a lot easier for me to fantasize about it later. Yeah, we just drive around in jeeps with our legs out and. Hang out here at the Molokai, Mol Molokai uh, cocktail, uh, baggage claim, uh, Hertz rent a car. And we're here to pick up some shit. Some of those dumb boxes you had at the beginning of the movie with everyone's name on it. Hey, these poor guys are going to end up taking some kind of package of, with bombs in it. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, and there's not really a... A wicked looking snake. It's kind of like a bad looking Muppet puppet. Yeah, that's, uh, you're, you're uh, handling, uh, uh, second rate, uh, uh, Muppets. Yeah, here comes old Hap Singer. He's like, hey, I'm having a good day. Oh, how are you chicks doing? All right. Oh, yeah, we're all ready for the Molokai farm. One snake. Nope. Yeah, there's never ever been a snake on Hawaii Island, ever. Yeah, all the information and stuff. If they don't get it, it's going to be a big fucking disaster. Oh, nice. Yeah, too bad I'm queer. Hey, you guys are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to take you to a great little spot on the island and we're going to dump you off there with a snake. Yeah, let's get another kiss there. All right. Yeah. I yeah, wish I uh, had the equipment. I just wanted to see this scene again because it was a pretty nice shot of their ass. Uh, the two Mexican guys loading the snake, their ass. You know, Donna, I've just figured out a cure for my boredom. I'll pretend I'm in a James Bond movie. You've got a great imagination, too. That wasn't the kind of movie I was well, pretending I you were in. Well, I have a new identity to develop. <laughs> and a lot to forget. Yeah? And out of all the actors who played James Bond, who do you like best? 
I'd give them all equal time. <laughs> I'd bang them all. I'm like a, you know, real true whore. Let's get boogie. <laughs>